and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna go over a little nice Sunday morning market talk. So obviously, it's pretty early, guys. Just woke up, it's like 8 a.m. Gonna go over the market for you guys. Um, today is Sunday, obviously, so I'm kind of hoping they do do another limited time drop like Le'Veon Bell last week. So I gotta get my eyes peeled because I guess they weren't gonna tell us last week. I had to find it on the auction block and then put it on Twitter. But I'm gonna be on top of that this week. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. So, you no, know, I wasn't top of it last week, but I wasn't trying to be. It was an accident. That was really me staring at LTDs that I can't afford for like 10 minutes and I accidentally saw him. But as far as videos go for today, I'm gonna plan to do a market talk. Hopefully, hopefully there's a limited time video to do and I'll go over that and then I'll see you for the third. I really haven't thought about that too much yet. Kinda wanna play some COD and watch some football. So gonna squeeze it all in. But guys, before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Make sure to go, come join the family. And it's greatly appreciated, guys. We're almost at 11K, we're super, super close. So if you guys can come join, make it all the easier. And let's head go for, let's start going for our next big milestone, which is 20K. Uh, make sure to comment down below. What, what's your current trends with the market? Like, what are you guys seeing? Like, is it time to pick up certain things? Do you think it's time to start dropping certain things? And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes. All the lowest fans, all the OGs, you guys have been killing with the like button. So let's keep it up. Now let's head over to the auction block. You know the way we like to do it. The back of my remote's missing and it's really irritating me right now. I don't know where it went. Uh, I don't even know how it came off, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But that's kind of what I'm looking for if you guys keep seeing me look around. But let's go over to the 80 to 80 ones. Like I always say, these aren't going to change too much just because of the nature of the card. If we head on down to, let's see, let's see. Should I, should I sort by mud heroes? I mean, it's going to be the same thing. Maybe within 7K. Yeah, 8K, these aren't going to change too much because the, the nature of these cards is like 8K is kind of like, oh, it's a low, low right now. 82s. We're working with about 15k. It looks like from Reggie White, uh, Raglan, and Dustin Colquitt. But I don't really care for these cards that much anymore. Like I feel like even budget teams aren't rocking with these cards. So it's really like these aren't really where you want to be sitting anymore. Anyways, the coin value just aren't going to match up what he should be going for. It's what they should be going for. 84s. That's more more where you guys would start with the budget. Let's see. Let's go by legends and we get. 25k okay so 25k but obviously that's not based it's more like 27 it's kind of like the standard price here it looks like for these legends at 84 that's really not horrible and guys make sure to stay through because this is like the boring part okay gotta, gotta get through all this obviously i'm gonna get to the bigger cards that's where i do a lot of my talk that's where i have a, I have a lot planned for you guys for all that stuff and get some good advice regarding some of the newer players 85 is probably more like 30k really not too bad uh, if you're trying to build a team and you're, you're like more of a budget team style team. That really isn't the best area to look, but it's also not the worst. Like there's good prices, cards aren't that great, but you're building a budget, if you're like low in budget, you can use it high in budget, you could go probably more in this range. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to veterans, just to see what the price is looking like. 86 overalls are 48K, that's super cheap. And 87 is about 63. So that really hasn't changed too much on that front. That has honestly stayed similar to what we've been like kind of expecting for the long period of time. Now, here's where I'm more interested in the 88s to 90s, the 88s to 89s. So coming on down. So as you guys can see, these most fear cards are super cheap. So I kind of have this theory, which isn't really a theory. It's kind of like it happened last year and they haven't confirmed it yet though. So last year, which snow cards, like snow beast and stuff uh, during Christmas, when the, when the promo ended, they converted all these cards. Right now, these cards quick sell for bets. Like he quick sells for maybe like, I don't know. 20 something thousand bats but they don't quick sell for trading which is why they're so cheap because as you guys know what keeps card value this year up is or in the last few years has been trading value but they don't go for training so they're not that well they're not that worthwhile in, ter in terms of training so what happened last year on christmas is that when the promo ended all the christmas cards converted to training after the promo ended so it was a great way to make coins because think about it 88 overalls typically go for about let's see go to flashbacks 88 overalls go for about 88k right now obviously this isn't even the best one to look at but i'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of example so 88 they go for 88k you can probably sell for about 90 at night a little bit over 90 but you can also get an 88 overall for 67k so if you bought it for 67k and you sold it for 88 you'd make about roughly 20 no 
roughly 13k per card. That's, that's just this one. Like obviously there's better ones, but we're just gonna get the point across. So, and what I mean by that is that if you bought these for 67k and then you waited until the end of the promo and then the training conversion happened, these cards should come up in value. Because obviously they now they now go by training value. They don't go by bats anymore. But as I always tell you guys the story, if you don't remember during the Christmas promo when I bought all the Ed Reeds for 350 because their snow value was so cheap, then when the uh, the training end uh, the promo ended, all the 95s were typically going for about 550k in training. So he went up to like 500 something k, and then I made like 200k per card. I had like 30 of them. And that's just one way you could make tons and tons of coins by manipulating back the training. I mean, the only way they could be scumbags is by giving us a half value back on the training, which I don't think they'll do. Although that would be very scumbaggy. But if that they don't do that, there's so many coins to be made from this promo. Let's keep it down. I'll go into the bigger prices as we get to the higher overall cards. Obviously, I mean, I'm not a fan of all these cards, these flashbacks, these heavyweights. There's a few decent cards in here, like Cologne Mac for 99k if you ever want to power them up. But I'm not really a fan of this whole set, this whole, like, filter anymore. It's overcrowded with legend set pieces. There's, oh, there's some seasonal performers in here. I should have bought some. I don't know why I didn't buy more seasonal performers when I had the chance. Probably should have. My mistake there. I wonder if that pack's still in the store. Probably isn't. Yeah, I kind of regret that. Okay, let's go over to the 90s. There's more fun going on over there. So let's see, 1991. The Mud Heroes guys are super, super cheap. They came up quite a bit since the, like a few weeks ago when they were like in the 130, 140 range. They're still, they're still, like, it's still doable to acquire some of these for cheap and enjoy them. Like, let's go over to Jalen Ramsey. So I bought him for 185 during the, the Mud Heroes crash. We got all the training. He's not 276. So I, I did tell you guys to pick up some Mud Heroes when they were like 140. I got Jalen for cheap. Now, my plan is to initially just sell Jalen. And then go get through the Mud Hero cells and get a free one anyways. But for the time being, if you guys wanted any Mud Heroes, they're not going to get much cheaper than this. They should be kind of like, because as, and it goes, this is how the Mud Heroes arc goes. Comes out, they're up here, they're up here, they're up here. Market gets cra uh, flooded, flooded, comes down here, here, here. Starts to finally come back up. Training comes out all the way down here. And now it's just going to slowly rise for the rest of the year because people aren't going to be pulling as many Mud Hero packs so the Mud Hero rarity is just going up and up. And now, as far as Most Feared goes, um, you can get some of these cards I'm about to show you through the... Yeah, there's no 90s and what I thought. I'm pretty sure the 90s ones you can get Most Feared cards, but there are going to be through the solo. They should be not. I believe, like, Tariq Cohen. I'm not entirely sure they're overall, so you have to go double-check that. I haven't really went into that too much. Let's go to Program Legends and show you guys the base legends right now. Again, guys, Willie Brown is a great buy at this price. I mean... You probably want to wait for Saturday when he goes down a little bit, but he hits all thresholds, decent speed, great athleticism, great physicality for uh, 164k. Really an awesome buy cornerback. He's like, if you go any better than that, he's just it's just a luxury at this point. Like, obviously Ramsey and all of them, but they're just luxuries. Kevin Mawai at this price, great, great center again. Obviously I have Travis Frederick, so Travis Frederick's obviously better, but he's not entirely killing him, except in run block. Run block, he kind of kills him a little bit, but that's even better because I, I do like to run, but still kept him wise, not bad at that price. Um, let's see, is there anything else here that I really just, I like Munoz, but he doesn't look like he's that cheap right now. Shannon Sharp's great, obviously. And then uh, Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins and Lawrence Taylor are kind of the two gems you're going to want to pick up no matter what, unless you're waiting for Sean Taylor, which I'm obviously waiting for Sean Taylor, but Brian Dawkins has really just been, he really set up camp. He's, very, he's doing great on that left side of the field for me on my team. I do not regret getting him at all, and his stats are pretty awesome. Now, a new guy that just came out is Ty Law. His price has skyrocketed down now. He is attributed to multiple things. First of all, people are trashing him all over Twitter, so everyone knows not to buy him. Second, a lot of the community has the free Ty Law you get from the, the captain thing. That's part of the reason why no one wants Ty Law. Third, third is that Ty Law, if you look at his stats, he screams you can't use him base. So that's going to hurt him too, because a lot of people like to use cards base. And then the rest of the community will power them up. But if their card's not that great base, then just the power community is going to want them. But what this card does is it screams you have to power it up. Because without powering it up, he'll be short of 90 speed, short of 90 excel, short of 90 agility, short of 90 man, short of 90 zone, and then short of 90 jumping. So literally, you have to power it up. It's going to cost a ton of coins. But he has went down in price significantly. Not unlike Gene Upshaw. It's literally skyrocketed. Okoye and John Henderson are going up. By the way, guys, that's what I mean. Remember when I said to you guys that most of your cards should come up? Think about it this way. These 92 overalls are going for 440k, right? Tylo's going for super cheap, which I don't really understand. But the other one's been going for like 440k, and then Gene Upshaw is 599k. So somewhere between that range, I'd recommend they go. 92 should be around like 350, 380. So what that means is that 94 should be a little more expensive. I mean 92, so 93 should be a little more expensive. So if you go over here to 92, 93's most feared, you should see that 
they're really really cheap so these 92s are 261 obviously that's not their price they're going to come back up to median i think catalog is actually underpriced so i think that they should come up to mid round. so like if you have that's what i'll say if you have any most of your cards i really don't recommend selling at all all you're going to do by selling is just hurt yourself should be completely honest with you i would just hold and then at the end of the promo you could potentially throw them up there toss them up and just get like even if it's only like 30 30k extra coins if you have enough cards it makes sense and the same thing with guys like Peyton manning i'm still holding my Peyton Manning to the end of the promo he's currently 359 he might be in like the 400 range same with ray lewis come the end of the promo and guys that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're already to the channel make sure to go below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell if you haven't already come join the family Comment down below what you guys have been doing, what you guys plan to pick up, and what your current trends are on the market, what you think at least. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. All the loyal OG supporters know the best way to show support. Always give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot. Helps more than you guys know. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.